if you rely on motivation and wanting to do something, it will probably never work because most things in life that are worth achieving are hard. Almost everything that's worth doing is pretty hard. And then the reward is even better when it's hard, right? And the things that are easy and that you just want to do usually are not as rewarding. This is the Self-Recording Band Podcast, the show where we help you make exciting records on your own, wherever you are, DIY style. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the Self-Recording Band Podcast. I'm your host, Benedict Tyne. If you are new to the show, welcome. So stoked to have you. This is the place where we help you make exciting records from your jam space, get the most out of your home studio setup, help you make exciting art so you're able to put it out into the world and be insanely proud of it. You've come to the right place if that's what you want to do. If you are already a listener, welcome back. So glad to have you again. If you're not aware, this show is both available on YouTube as well as on all kinds of podcast platforms. So wherever you're discovering this, please know that you can also watch a video version of it or listen in your car or when you're in the, at the gym or doing the dishes or whatever. Um, so both of those options are available. And yeah, today is a, a little bit of a different episode. We've never done this, but uh, I wanted to try it and I, I hope it's, it's helpful for you. So instead of doing what we typically do, like coming up with a specific topic for this episode, writing an outline or doing like an interview thing or like this, like these well thought out pre-planned episodes like we usually do. Instead of doing that, I just wanted to publish something today and share something with you today that was actually not supposed to go on the podcast. So what happened is I have this coaching program, as you probably know by now, if you're, if you've been a listener for a while, I have the coaching program called the Self-Recording Syndicate, where I work one-on-one with artists from all over the world and help them make great records as their remote recording buddy, as their guide, you know, helping them achieve their goals as self-recording musicians. And inside this program, there's one person that I've been working with for a while. He's awesome. He's a great guitar player. I won't say his name. Um, he's a great guitar player and musician. He's already doing music full time. He works like he he plays guitar, does a lot of shows, plays in a cover band you know, like a session musician or like live cover band musician type of, of career. And he also has his own music, his own bands. And like, he's just, he's just a, a professional guitar player. And he came to me with the goal of wanting to have original music well recorded so he could release it. He has this album that he recorded years ago and need, w- finally wants to finish it, add some new tracks to it, and then finally mix it and get it out there. And so that was like the piece that was missing for him. And he, he really wanted to do that, and he didn't know how to start. He, it was overwhelming. And yeah, so he sought out help, which is awesome. He signed up for the program and asked me to help him make this happen. And that's what I've been trying to do with him. And he keeps running into a situation that is pretty hard to overcome. And I'm, I'm, I bet that a lot of people out there feel the same way. And if you're listening to this, it might be you. You might be feeling the same way. You might be, you might have been in that spot before, or maybe you are in that situation right now. And that is that for whatever reason, he can play guitar for hours every day and practice and put in the work. And it doesn't bother him. It's fun to him. It's what he does. It's it's, It's his identity. It's who he is. And he can do this but he can't find the motivation to sit down and learn how to work in his DAW, how to record, how to produce. I show him everything he needs to know. I give him clear next steps as part of the coaching. I give him not everything at once, like a clear next thing, simple baby steps to work on. So I try to make it as easy as possible, not overwhelming, but still he can't seem to just sit down, do that, get better, put in the work, submit it for feedback, like it just doesn't happen. And every once in a while, he has this like quick burst of motivation and then it's really good what he does and he makes progress, but then he starts to slack again and doesn't do it. And he just sent me a a voice message um, via our coaching. Yeah, we have have like a a dedicated like phone number, WhatsApp for the coaching where people can reach me in addition to the coaching portal we have online. And so he used that, sent me a voice message and was like, hey man, like just so you know, uh, I know I've been inactive for a while and uh, just to you know, I I just can't make myself do it. I just can't find the motivation to sit down and record and work on my music. And I, 
I I don't know why that is. Like I I can't make progress with this record, and it's still overwhelming. And just thinking about it stresses me out. And I don't know what to do. And I don't. I just wanted to share this with you. Maybe you have advice or how to like overcome this, how to get out of this situation. Because I just don't know what to do. It's always like that. And I I just I play guitar every day for hours, and but I just can't make this work. And so what can I do? And then I said I thought about this for a while and sent him a long voice message back with my thoughts on this question. Because I really want him to finish this record and I really want him to go after his goals and dreams and make his own original music and and so he's able to release that and and this is the entire thing. Like this is why he came to me. So I want to help him, of course. And so I sent him this long voice message back. And there are some tough questions in there to ask himself. There is some general advice on what I believe about what I believe is true about motivation versus like habits and like goals and bad consequences and how that all goes together and how like, yeah, how I think about all of this. And yeah, long story short, I wanted to share this with you. And so here's the the original voice message, the unedited original voice message that I sent out to the coaching student that I'm working with. And if you're in the same situation, if you feel every like everything's overwhelming, then this might help you. Also know that The first step is getting help and hiring someone or asking someone who you know, or I don't know, like but just getting help and and collaborating with someone that can help you because on your own, you're probably not going to do it. And I've said it a million times before on this podcast, the way to get good at this is, is to seek out mentors, is to collaborate with others, is to get out of your own like bubble. And it's also not like just watching a bunch of YouTube videos or listening to this podcast. It's actually doing the work and collaborating and getting advice and feedback. So if you feel like, well, I need to take that step now and I want that personal guidance and that kick in the butt as well and that like outside voice that helps me get back on track whenever I feel stuck, that gets me the extra accountability, that tries to make it fun, that tries to break it down into simple steps and like gives me you know, a clear next thing to work on and all of that, if that's what you want, so you can finally accomplish your goal, then please go to the selfrecordingband.com and hit the apply now button and apply for the self-recording syndicate for our coaching program. And then I, I look at your application and if it if I think it's a good fit, I will, I'm going to reach out to you. We're going to do a completely free first call, figure out if the program is really a good fit for you. And if it is, I'm happy to offer it to you and you can sign up and join this community. And then I can be your guide and your coach as well and give you the pep talk that you need when you need it and not just the pep talk but obviously the how to do things and the advice and all of that so yeah if you want to do that please reach out and apply and here's a you know look behind the scenes of what can happen in this program and this is not the norm usually we talk just talk about audio things and people are stoked and excited about it but every once in a while there's someone who's questioning everything about it and who might is not sure if, if it's actually what he wants to do or doesn't know why he can't seem to do it and this is part of it it's not nice it's tough but it's part of being a coach and it's part of being a guide and it's it can happen and so yeah here is how i dealt with that situation and i hope it helps you have a great day i took a little while to think about this um, because i really wanted to give you a good answer or a thoughtful reply to this i'm sorry that you feel that way first of all and i understand how that feels because I've been in that situation quite often in my life with different things. And my advice is kind of, it's actually pretty simple, but, but I really hope you understand what I'm, what I mean here. Um, because it is simple, but it also probably seems hard to do or implement. So I hope you understand what I'm saying and you're open for that kind of advice. So if you rely on motivation and wanting to do something, it will probably never work. Because most things in life that are worth achieving are hard. Almost everything that's worth doing is pretty hard. And then the reward is even better when it's hard, right? And the things that are easy and that you just want to do usually are not as rewarding. That's one thing. So just Think about the fact that it is hard and you don't want to do it is a good sign because when you still do it, you're going to be even more proud of yourself and it's going to feel even better once you've accomplished it. That's one thing. But I know that doesn't help because it's still hard. 
Uh, the other thing is what I said about relying on motivation. If you just show up and do the work that's required to reach your goal, if you just do that anyways, regardless of your motivation and your emotions and your feelings, and you just make it a habit, that's where you're going to succeed and where you're going to make it happen. So the goal is not to ask yourself, like the goal is not to figure out how to get motivated. The goal is to do it even if you're not motivated. The difference between a habit and something you only do when you feel like it. So for example, if someone wants to get in shape and get healthy and get like, you know, strong or endurance or whatever in sports, most people don't like working out every day. Most people don't feel like working out or don't enjoy it or they get up in the morning and they don't feel like going out for a run or going to the gym, but they still do it because they have this goal and they still show up regardless of the motivation, right? Because it's the goal, the outcome that drives them, not the, the act of doing it. I know there's people who like working out, of course, I like it too, but there are times where I don't feel like it and I still do it, right? So you make it a habit not something that you only do when you feel motivated. So forget the whole motivation part. Like when I want to accomplish something, I don't care if I'm motivated or if I feel like it. I just do it because I do it. That's who I am. It's my identity. It's a habit. It's just something I do, like brushing my teeth. I don't like brushing my teeth. I'm not motivated to brush my teeth, but I know that I don't want to have bad teeth. And so I just do it. And I made it a habit decades ago as a kid and I just don't question it. I just get up and brush my teeth, right? I don't just do it if I'm feeling motivated. And if I'm not, I'm not going to do it, right? So it's just something I do. And it's the same thing with everything. But all of that, and now I get to the most important part, all of that only works and only matters if you have a strong why and a strong goal behind it. Meaning you have to really want the result. And this is my question for you now. Do you really want to make that record? Or is it just something you said once for whatever reason, but you actually don't really care? Because if that is the case, then it's going to be almost impossible to do it, right? You have to have that strong why, that strong reason behind it. So just ask yourself, do you want to become good at producing and mixing your music? Do you really, really want that? And why? And do you really, really want to make this record? And why? Because, for example, if you truly, if you actually, if you're being honest and maybe you believe that the record is not going to be successful anyways, nobody's going to care, nobody's going to listen. And honestly, you're not even so much into it and you are have other goals in your life now. And this record is not really like if you if that's your self-talk, if you don't believe in the record, you're never going to do it because the why the motivation, like not the motivation, but the goal is not really there. But if you truly believe, man, if I make this record great, then like I'm going to be so proud. And this is something I wanted to share with the world so bad because those songs mean so much to me. And um, this is like a dream of mine and whatever. If that is the case, then just show up and do it, even if you don't feel like it, because all you need to remember is the why and the goal. So I'm really asking, like, do you actually want this? Because you said you can show up and play guitars for hours every day. You can do that. So this means you are not just a lazy person. You can do things. You can put in the hard work. And I've heard you play guitar. You are phenomenal. So you've already proven that you can do hard things and put in the work and learn things. You can do it. You've learned to play guitar. It's not easy. It requires talent. It requires practice. It requires a certain musical kind of ear, ability to hear properly and, and all that. Like, you have proven that you have the skills and the talent that it takes. So why can you apply it to guitar, but not to music production? Because it's the same thing. Learning how to operate a DAW and creating music there and producing is just like learning an instrument. It's the same thing. And so why can you learn an instrument and practice that? But, and, and, but you can't do the same thing for music production. Why is that? Ask yourself that question, because that is the key to figuring out this problem. Maybe your dream or, you know, goal or whatever of becoming a musician, a rock star, being on stage, whatever the goal, the reason behind is, maybe that is a strong why and something you really want and care about. And that's why you play guitar. And maybe being the producer or, make, or making records, 
Maybe that's not really what you care about. Maybe you just care about being on stage. Maybe you don't even care about having a record. And that might be the reason. If it's not true, if you think, well, actually, I would like, love to have a record because that would help my musician career or whatever, then you have a why and a goal. And then if, as long as you don't forget that, you will show up. But it's, this is very important. So long story short, before I'm repeating myself, um, ask yourself, do you really want this? And if yes, if it's truly a yes, then how can you turn this into a habit and do it even if you don't feel like it? like brushing your teeth, like whatever other thing you have to do. Figure that out. How can you turn it into a habit? And also, and the final thing I'm going to tell you is like, we do things because of one of two reasons. We do it either because we want to move towards or go our goal, like towards the good thing, or we do it because we walk away from the bad thing to avoid bad consequences. These are the only two reasons why we do things. It's either because good things will happen, or because we want to avoid a bad consequence. And so if the goal mentality doesn't help you, if there's no real why, no real driver, no real goal behind wanting to make records, maybe it's a bad consequence that can give you the necessary kick in the ass that you try to avoid. So what happens if you don't do it? Will you regret not making that record? Will this mean that you're going to feel, not going to feel, but will this mean maybe that it's going to hurt your career? Um, it's going to hold you back from achieving something as a musician. Um, is it, you know, now whatever, what, just think about what the consequence is if you don't do it. Because maybe the consequence is not even bad. Maybe nothing bad happens if you don't do it. Maybe you are just happy with the life you have without that record, right? And that's why you don't do it. Maybe there's no bad consequence if you don't do it. And that's why you don't do it. And that's why you don't do it. That could also be, right? So if, if someone is a professional like musician, not like, like if someone it makes a living off of their own original music, like any rock star, any kind of pop star, professional musician, or songwriter, whatever, if they don't make records, they don't have a career, right? Or if they don't tour, they don't have a career. So of course they do it. Like, it's just part of it. But maybe for you, it's not necessary to have that record, you know? But it could be necessary. I don't know. Depends on your goal and who you want to be, what your identity is. Do you want to be an artist with, with his own record that sounds awesome? Or do you just want to do what you're doing now and play guitar and do cover songs and that kind of thing? So think about that stuff. And if you think about things outside of music, it's the same thing, like I said. we we brush our teeth because we avoid the bad consequence of having bad teeth. We go to the gym or run or work out or whatever because either we want to look good and feel good about ourselves and be healthy, so we're going towards the good thing, or we're doing it because we, go, we avoid the bad consequence because maybe we are afraid of, of getting fat or whatever else the bad consequence is. We have to do our taxes Nobody likes doing taxes. Nobody likes to do bookkeeping or whatever, like most people don't. But we do it because the consequences are terrible, because they're going to come after us and they're going to, you know, we're going to have a problem and with, with the law, with the government, if we don't pay taxes. So we, we do it, although we absolutely don't like it. But there is a bad consequence. That's why we do it. So what is the good thing that will happen when you learn to do this? and practice? And what is the bad thing that you can avoid when you do it in practice? And then finally, and that's a really important thing. Do you, let's say you are clear about your goals. Let's say you are clear about your why. Let's say you figure out a way to make it a habit and you don't care anymore about your motivation, about your emotions. You just do it. Do you, you should still enjoy it when you do it. It might be hard to get started because of the lack of motivation. I get that. But usually when we're when we turn it into a habit and we start doing it, we actually enjoy it. Right? Everybody who's working out, doing any kind of hard thing, once we've done it, we feel good about it. And it's always afterwards, it's always better than before. It's always worth it. So the hard things are like they pay off. Is that true for you when you make music? Or do you feel worse after doing it? Do you actually enjoy 
working in your DAW, m recording and mixing, is that fun to you in any kind of way? Or is it something you just hate? You know, that's an important thing to ask yourself. And it's something I ask on every single call that I have with people before I sign them up for, a pro for the program. I ask you that too, if you would actually, if you think you could actually enjoy that. And most people say yes. And, and most people also say, if I was better at it, I would enjoy it. I just don't like it now because I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah, it is creating music on your computer and recording and mixing all that. Is that fun to you or not? Or can you imagine it being fun? And if it's not fun, is it just because you still don't know what you're doing? Or is it not fun because even if you know what you're doing, you just don't like it? Hard questions to ask yourself. I don't know. But like, if you don't have a passion for it, if you don't like the act of creating a record, if you don't feel it and you don't, you're not into it while you do it and like all that, it's going to be super hard, of course, because yeah, you're going to have to do it with sheer like willpower and discipline. And that's hard. And at the end of the day, it is art. It is music. It's about what it means to you. It's, it's important. It's not just a task. It's not just a work, a work, right? So, yeah, think about all these things, man, please. And, and, then, and then get back to me with your thoughts. You need the clarity. And if you know that you absolutely want it, and if you know that it's important to you and that you want to make this record, if that's definitely true, and if you also know that once you get better at it, you get more confident and you feel better about it and it's not going to be that you're going to like it once you get better at it, if that is also true, then maybe, maybe you can make yourself do it. And if the answer is no, I actually don't want to make this record. I don't care about this record. It doesn't help me my career or my dreams. I don't really care if it's happening. Or if you think like, no, even if I'm really good at this, I don't see myself producing. I just, I just, I'm just a guitar player. I never want to produce music. Well, that's also fine. And then it's still a good thing that you try to do it because now you at least know, right? Now you learned that who you really are and what your identity is. Yeah, think, think about this because I honestly believe that you should do it because you said that, um, that it was important to you in the beginning. You said that you wanted to make this and I, I, I still think that's true. And I still think these songs mean something to you. So don't just take the easy way out and be like, well, okay, now I'm quitting, you know, really think about this and then just get back to me. Yeah, this was my long answer for you. And I hope this helps. And I can't wait to hear your thoughts on it. And I'm, I will, I'm willing to do whatever I can to help you, of course, as always. And if you just stay in touch and let me know whenever you're struggling, then I can help you. If you don't say anything and you just don't do anything and I don't know what you're doing, I can also not help you. It's the other thing. So whenever you feel stuck and you feel like you're not motivated and you don't know what to do, then just reach out and be like, hey, I want to make this today, but I don't know where to start. And then I can tell you how to start, right? That can also help. But you need to set aside time for that. You need to block out time. You need to make it a habit and just do it. And then if you don't know what to do, that's what I'm here for. All right. Talk soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.